back to educator.com. This is the life science course and today's lesson is on fungi. The objectives for today's lesson will be to discuss what are the common characteristics that all fungi share, how do fungi reproduce and develop, and how are fungi classified. So some common characteristics of fungi or fungus as we would call them uh, would be the singular way to call them. Um, are that fungi are multicellular. They're mini-celled uh, organisms. However, there are some fungi that are unicellular, particularly, particularly yeast, which are a type of uh, fungus. They are unicellular, cellular, but most are multicellular. Also, fungi are heterotrophs. That means they cannot make their own food. They must get their food source from other organisms. And fungi are saprophytes. Saprophytes is just a fancy word that means uh, they can eat dead or decaying organisms. Which is great because they are able to recycle nutrients back into the uh, environment. Some fungi are parasites. That means that they live off of a host and they take the nutrients that the host uh, eats in its food source um, and they can cause that host to be deficient in nutrients. So that's why they're considered parasites. But some fungi are also symbionts. Symbionts means that they have a symbiotic re relationship with another organism. When they have a symbiotic relationship, that means that both the fungus and the other organism benefit mutually from the relationship. Both benefit. Now, fungi uh, all share a particular structure called hyphae. Hyphae are thread-like tubes that make up the body of the fungus. Um, fungi also can't move on their own. Um, if they move, they have to have specialized structures to do that. And here are just some pictures of different types of fungi. For example, we have the wild mushrooms here. We have the moldy bread here. And then we have yeast here. More characteristics of fungi are that they, um, are, they grow and they're very anchored inside in, in the soil. So they don't move. Um, they do have a cell wall and that surrounds each cell. Uh, they don't have specialized tissues and organism, organs, excuse me, um, and they grow best in warm, damp areas such as like a tropical rainforest or even between toes such as uh, this uh, person's toes shows that they have an uh, athlete's foot which is a type of yeast. Here is a diagram of what a fungus cell would look like. It looks very similar to a plant or animal cell in that it has the membrane-bound nucleus, it has different organelles inside the cytoplasm, the mitochondria, um, but it also has the cell wall outside of the cell membrane and that is similar to the plant cell and that provides structure for the fungus cell.